so hello and welcome to this uh, new tutorial uh, so sorry uh, for the bad audio quality and uh, for my bad english accent but uh, i don't know how to speak with the correct accent so i will uh, continue with this one so today we will see how to do a video projection over a dome surface uh, with uh, with four video projectors so i will create a new project minimal project with a content map of 2k square and uh, this content map 2k square will be the one uh, that will be projected over the dome so i will call it dome projection point project okay so now we have a simple uh, project with uh, only one content map uh, this one i will call it dome content map of 2k square and if i go to my master scene i see i have a test pattern uh, sended through uh, this uh, to this content map so if i put a horse and send it to the dom content map here i will put a little color tag so we can see uh, what we send to which content area and i play it so now i can send media uh, into this content map so now the second part uh, will be to create uh, the setup, uh, the dome and the four video projectors. So to create uh, the stage, we will go into stage elements here. And right now I have uh, nothing. So here is my uh, point uh, zero, this one. And uh, in this example, I will uh, take this point, the zero point at the center of the dome. So first I will create the dome. So I will uh, do a right click element surface and I will choose a full dome exterior because uh, right now we are going to project on the external surface of the dome and I will uh, choose to send the dome content map, this one, uh, into my dome so right now you see we have the dome here uh, with the horse, uh, the content projected uh, over it now that I have the dome I can check into its uh, parameters here uh, how it is placed and uh, its parameters so here I have a dome of 1 meter radius I will uh, take a dome of let's say 3 meter radius like that uh, which means uh, 6 meter uh, diameter and now I will create my video projector the purpose, uh, the purpose of creating a video projector and do it, uh, doing this uh, stage surface is to have uh, directly the deformation of the sphere of the dome uh, on the video projectors so i will create a first video projector here and i say that he will see uh, this surface uh, full dome exterior okay and now as you see i have a video projector created here and inside my video projector i have a processor with uh, containing this uh, geometry and this item here is uh, what the video projector uh, is seeing so i have my first video projector here and here you see that my uh, video projector is placed uh, 10 meter away from my zero point here so of course uh, in real life if you want to place your video your virtual video projector then you must uh, choose a zero point zero point in your uh, real space and then uh, use a laser meter to determine the right um, position and do a little trigonometry but uh, i think that uh, if you do this kind of project you know how to do that and uh, in this example i will say that my video projector are 1.5 uh, meters height and now i will go into the video projector view so this is the view of my first video projector this one and as you see if i deactivate this item i don't see anything anymore in the video projector the processor is only a um, kind of a composition so if uh, i add uh, something inside my video projector like uh, 2d layers like a checkerboard then uh, my video projector will see uh, this surface and the checkerboard for this example i will not use that obviously uh, i will only stay 
let it uh, be like that uh, because I only have uh, I only need uh, to see the the dome. And if I select my uh, video projector, I see here also many different uh, options uh, for the optics setup, like the true ratio, the vertical and horizontal uh, field of view, the optics rotation and shift, as well as the uh, focal, focal distance. Uh, here you have the luminance, intensity and gamma, but uh, this one uh, it's only useful for the simulation part of SMOD, this part, but for the project purposes to have a working project it does not matter so now i have only one video projector and i need to create four i will go back in my preview mode i will create a second video projector so let's say that i have uh, all my video projector with the same uh, with the same uh, parameters so we will uh, duplicate this projector control d and now I will place it in the opposite side, minus 10 meters, and half turn, like that, so I have my second video projectors, and here you can see I have my first video projector seeing that, and my second video projector seeing that. So I will create the four video projector, this one I will place here, 10 meters, 0 meters, and 90 degrees, and the last one on the opposite side, here and here. So now I have my uh, four video projectors. Now that I have that, the only thing left to do is to plug uh, each video projector on each output. In this example I have um, uh, on, a, on a personal computer with uh, only one output which is my screen here. So uh, I can show uh, with many output, but if you have many output, you select uh, each output one after the other. And once once you select one output, here you can select the source. Source, and here I will choose like a video projector one, two, three, four, etc. Here are some few hints to change the way you display uh, the content over your dome. Right now, we are displaying this content map uh, stretched, uh, stretched, uh, stretched to the dome. So the thing we can do is to change the content map uh, resolution, for instance, like this. All right. And this will result in, uh, in changing the ratio of the image over the dome. So right now our content map uh, looks like that. And on the dome it will look uh, like that. Also if I go on the stage element, I can see that uh, there's this little module uh, UV transform inside the full dome exterior preset. And this uh, can help me to change a little bit uh, how I will uh, display my content over uh, the dome. Uh, like that. All right, and uh, the last thing will will be to use um, a virtual screen, and to do that I will use a 3D virtual screen, and I will uh, do a right click here in the pipeline tab, tab this tab, so create 3D 3D virtual screen, and this screen I will call it orthographic projection. All right. Uh, I will take it uh, as a 2K square and now if I select my virtual screen here in this parameter I will uh, select nothing because I have no crew not uh, I have no camera created and uh, to display an orthographic projection what I will do is inside the stage element I will create an element mapping auto mapping uh, y axis uh, like that and uh, content I will leave that unlinked from now and here is my orthographic uh, projection this one so I know that my dome here is a uh, 3 meter uh, radius so it's 6 meter in uh, diameter so I will take a 6 by 6 uh, orthographic projection that will uh, take all my uh, dome 
and uh, inside my uh, virtual screen I will select as mapping item the orthographic y-axis uh, projection which means this one and now my virtual screen I will give it a little color label and now if I send uh, my content uh, let's say the horse uh, through my virtual screen this one orthographic projection now you see something has uh, changed here on the content map and now if I go to my uh, preview spot here you can see that my uh, horse is now projected uh, from the orthographic uh, point of view and the content map uh, as well so like that you have uh, many different ways to display the content over the surface of the dome and if I check through the video projector uh, of course, as they are filming the, the dome, uh, they see the good content, um, and this will, uh, and it's all. Now that I have my uh, all my video projector uh, set, now I see uh, every uh, different uh, video projector view. And I have some uh, tools uh, to help me adjust uh, the deformation of the video projectors. For instance, here I am in the video projector one, video projector one, so this one. So you see the processor here with the full dome inside. So the different things I have uh, to help me is first to do the fine tuning deformation. To fine tune the deformation, I can use a distort warp modifier this one and now I will play pass uh, go in edit mode hold control and you see that uh, the cursor the mouse cursor has changed and now I can place like this several points like that Ash. okay and now I will uncheck edit source and now my grid uh, goes in red and now I can do some uh, little adjustment of the deformation and you can also use the left, uh, right and up down arrows to uh, adjust the deformation. So this is one method to use uh, deformation. Again, a processor uh, is uh, like a composition. So you can use any deformer you want uh, to fine tune uh, the warp of uh, the video projector's output. Uh, the warp is the most convenient one, but if you want to use uh, other one, like uh, for instance, I use a 2D transform. Let's go out edit mode. Oh, shift that a little. And if I use my radial mask, like that, with a big feather, so then I can also use any kind of uh, deformation uh, I want to fine tune my, uh, my warp. So now the only thing left to do is to do the soft edges. So I have two options here. The first is to do a soft edge on the whole uh, video projector output. For that, I do a right click over the video projector processor. And I choose a mask, like a uh, placement mask, for instance, for instance. And here, I can adjust the feather. If I want to, ad if I want to adjust the feather of uh, the soft edge of only a side, I uh, expand the feather uh, parameter, choose to unlink them uh, by choosing none and now I can choose the left, right, top, bottom uh, feather separately. Also I have this exponent here that allow to change a little bit uh, the blending of the uh, of the gradient of the of the feather. So by default it's two. So this methodology is quite useful when you are projecting on a planar surface but uh, on this kind of surface, a dome, you better uh, have to do the soft edges uh, accordingly to the geometry of the dome. So for that I can use uh, a mask over this surface. Uh, again, this surface is the dome here. So I will do a mask, placement mask again. And now if I change, I move a little bit my mask, you see what I'm masking here. This placement mask is using uh, the UV of the dome uh, to do the soft edges. And so now if I go in simulation mode, uh, for instance, 
and I will uh, send white in all my video projector so now we can see and adjust a little bit here the simulation luminosity okay like that all right and the video projector one is this one Now I will go back in content mode because if I want to see my soft edges uh, what I need to do is not to send full white from any video projector but to send full white on the dome surface so I will send full white here and now it's, a, it's uh, the dome that will be lightened in uh, white okay and now here you see you can create soft edges like that uh, with a different uh, video projector. So there it is for this tutorial. I hope uh, it has been useful. Uh, if you have any question, uh, do not hesitate to ask uh, in the um, commentary. I don't know how they say it in YouTube, but to ask below the video, and uh, I will answer when I have the time. Okay, thanks for watching.